Okay, so today in this vlog video tutorial rock, I would like to show you guys how to get Snapchat officially hacked. The first thing that you want to do is get rid of any Snapchat pre installed on your device. Right here, just go ahead and delete it. Once you delete it, you confirm the deletion part, you connect it to your PC, Mac, whatever OS you have currently, then you go ahead and Google Cydia Impactor, you download that for your desired operating system, as well as Snapchat 9.37 patched. Once you do that, you download this as well. You wait 30 seconds, you download it as well. You have it then in your folder. Right here, I have them all here. Then you run Impactor. Uh, once you have installed it, it's right here. Then you drag and drop the Snapchat app which is the hack version to your impactor you log in with your Apple ID, no worries, nothing will be saved, it's just to confirm that you have an active Apple ID and then it will only get sent to Apple you wait until it signs the package, confirms it and then finally installed it on your phone. I'm going to hold my phone right here. Make sure it's connected to your computer as well. And then once it's ready to be installed, it's on my home screen right here. Should it extract soon? It's extracting the package and in the next 10 seconds it should be somewhere here. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right there. You open it, it's going to give you a message that you have to trust it because this is a developer app. You hit cancel, you go to settings on your phone, settings. settings right here and then once you go to settings you go to general you go to profile and device management right there and then you hit on the developer section right here once you hit that snapshot will open and then you have to click on this trust right here allow trust once you do that you're allowed to open the applications with no problem once you open the app it will let you sign in let me sign in On the sign on, it will look like this, and then you hit OK, allow, and then right there you can see it looks very different than every other Snapchat app usually is. And here on the top, you can spoof your location, you can uh, let your friends know that you are at a different place for example you hit that one on the top you take a picture and it will give you a different filter for example i have the filter from germany i'm not in germany right now but i select germany i hit confirm once i do that let's say i take a picture let's take a blank picture, I take it right now and then 
you have access to different filters. I can go ahead and get the filter from Java. Where is it? It's here. German filters, it's in Berlin. And then also you can save Snapchat stories without having them know. For example, I can save this guy's Snapchat by clicking on the bottom. And then you hit save to camera roll. That's pretty much it. The only disadvantage is that if you do this, there will be a little app on top of the uh, Snapchat app with commercial. So basically, app. That's it. That's the only disadvantage. You can exit out and use it normally. Thank you, guys. Take care. See you in the next one.